Hi, my name is David O'Connor and I'm a product manager in Chem Technologies. Today, I will be providing a short overview of the Content Rule Builder developed by Senior Network Support Engineer Tony Bohan. The Content Rule Builder addresses several common requests that we see, including match on host domain or URL path, change host domain or URL path, change naked domains, change 302 redirects to another location, add remove ports from URLs. Today, we will demonstrate the content match on host and redirect clients and how to apply to a Loadmaster virtual service via the UI or RESTful API. PowerShell API commands are also presented. The Content Rule Builder will be available under support.chemtechnologies.com. Switching to the Builder itself, on the homepage, we can see a definition of common regex syntax on the right-hand side and the pre-populated list of the most common content switching scenarios on the left-hand side. First, I will demonstrate the redirect client scenario for HTTP example.com to HTTP example.com forward slash test. On clicking create rule, I am returned three approaches to implementing this content rule on the Loadmaster. Firstly, I am presented with all the fields to fill in on the Loadmaster UI as follows. Second and third, I am presented with the relevant API commands via RESTful and PowerShell API to programmatically provision the Loadmaster. I will demonstrate using the Loadmaster UI to create the rules shown. On the Loadmaster, navigate to the Rules and Checking, Content Rules, Create New. We give the rule a name, in this case, Example. Configure the rule type to match that from the Content Rule Builder, and then copy-paste the remaining values to the appropriate fields, and click Create Rule on the Loadmaster UI. We can see the rule has been created and is available for use. I then apply this content rule to the virtual service by selecting the appropriate virtual service, advanced properties, enable content switching, then navigating to the header rules where I can see that the appropriate content rule is available for use and I enable this. Finally, I will demonstrate the content match on host domain scenario for httpdemo.com. On clicking create rule, I am returned three approaches to implementing this content rule on the Loadmaster. I will use the RESTful API command to create this rule on the Loadmaster like this. I copy this RESTful API command and paste into a browser window, changing the Loadmaster IP address and the rule name as shown, then hit return. This returns success and we can see the rule on the content rules page on the Loadmaster. I then apply this content rule to the real server by selecting the appropriate virtual service, advanced properties, enable content switching, then navigate to the real servers where I can see that there is a content rule available for use and enabling this content rule. For further information on content rules, please see the following document. This was a short overview of the Kemp Content Rule Builder and applying the rule output to the Loadmaster. I hope that you have found this useful. Thank you for listening. Slán agus Lath.